so hi there. We are backstage uh, at Nevermore, which is our show about Edgar Allan Poe. And I'm about to show you some of the props and costumes for our show. This one here is uh, a giant skirt. It's a giant skirt that uh, we had sort of prototyped in my office with um, garden hose and sticks and masking tape. Everything in the piece looks a bit like a, a line drawing, a bit like a hand drawing that you would find in a sketchbook. The, masking tape itself was uh, sort of born out of trying to find a material that would look um, as you know as beautiful as it does but without being um, a real life you know gorgeous ribbon it, it's it's more about the experimentation and playfulness of it all this is one of our society ladies hats we call it um, she's a, a character who comes out um, uh, in the second act and has sort of fallen in love or, or under the spell of Edgar Allan Poe she's made out of masking tape and this is um landscape fabric, so the kind of fabric that you'd use in your garden to keep the weeds from, from growing up. It's the right texture, it's the right feel. It's not too, um, uh, too lifelike or realistic, it's, it's more whimsical. And people actually move in these, and they're, they're amazing. These actors are absolutely incredible that they can make this all work, and they're uh, very generous of spirit. So as you can imagine, in a show about Edgar Allan Poe, we have a number of ravens. And this is one of our ravens. This is the smallest of them. And it's, a, it's basically a bicycle helmet inside a structure of sticks uh, that I grabbed from the back alley outside of Catalyst Theatre. Um, and these ravens are, are worn with um, claws. And these are made out of tissue paper, cardboard, and I think a pair of old work gloves that I found in my office. So this is one of our bell coats. Um, it's a, a coat that sits like a regular suit jacket and then becomes massive uh, down at the bottom. It says all glue gun uh, and tissue paper. One of the great things that uh, a team member said when we arrived here was, I'd love you to walk me around, talk me through all of your, of your pieces, because I'm not sure which of them are broken. <laughs> and it's quite true. If you haven't seen it in context, you can't really tell which of them are broken. They are intended to be this kind of decay. This is one of our pieces that was originally created seven years ago and it has uh, stood well the test of time. They do get repaired, absolutely. Uh, there are things, you know, inherently cardboard does degenerate. Um, so uh, I, there's a bit of cursing that goes on with these, of course, but um, they, have the, they have the character of having been around for that long, which, uh, which we love. This, believe it or not, is a wig. And it started as a, as a cheap Halloween wig, and then I dipped it in flex glue, and then started styling it. It's wrapped in hockey tape, and uh, these are ping pong balls, and a big styrofoam ball, and then a giant stick from, again, from, from the backyard. And uh, it looks terrible on me, but I've been told I must wear it. So here you are. This is the wig of Muddy Clem. It looks amazing on her, and I would like to say goodbye, and we hope to see you at the theater.